I don't see the point. I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up. That doesn't work. I've run aground. There's not enough water to cross the puddle. I've run aground. There's not enough water to cross the puddle. I've pulped them into oil. I don't see the point. Oh, poo. Ah! Hey, I'm alive. But where the hell am I? Hey, I'm inside the frog. Yuck. Not again. Ah! Let me out! <coughs> Not again. <coughs> that doesn't work. <coughs> My hat isn't waterproofed. Not again. Would you excuse me, please? I need to get past. When I get back to my normal size, your history. My sense of fashion dictates otherwise. Not again.
There's a little tadpole swimming in it. That's not part of a balanced diet. Not again. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye-bye, little friend. Looks like some sort of earth tremor. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm out of here. <laughs> I hope that thing is gone. That doesn't work. It's securely locked. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, it ain't you, that's for sure. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before? <laughs> oh, get a grip, will you? La-dee-da, a talking mirror. I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. Just name the place, and you can hear and see it as if you were there. 
You're some kind of spying device? I prefer the term surveillance. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. He's a sod, though. Do you know how long it's been since I last had a good polish? He treats me like some sort of slave. I've got feelings, you know. Mm, what do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder? Yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with sordid. Sordid, yeah. Shall we, like, go and tell him? Tell him, yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over, yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder, like, where he stands. Eat him, yeah. Or, we could just carry on with a game, just like, ignore the intruder. Ignore, yeah. Okay then. It's already open. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'm saving it for Sordid. Uh, hello. Um, does like... Two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon? I, um... Uh... Thought not. I lose again, Max. Again? Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. My mummy says I mustn't talk to strangers. <laughs> yeah, mine used to say that too. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. It was never designed to be closed. Do you require my services now? There's nothing I want from a... I bet they don't use this for drying clothes. It looks like a giant nutcracker. It's got the branch stuck in its mouth. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. It's Sordid's money pouch with his sock in it. Apparently it's some sort of magical metal polish.
Do you require my services now? Show me the lab on the top floor. There's a good chap. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. I want to spy on Gerald and Max. I can't imagine they'd be worth spying on, but okay. Here goes. Why are you like so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grabbit? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grabbit? It's not much better than Snogfundle, really. Suppose not. Belch Grabbit and Snogfondle. I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. Well, you look like demons. <laughs> Not bad, but what we actually are is, you know, uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, out of humour, peeved, peaked, put out, riled, ruffled, and vexed. Ain't we, Max? Irritated. Yeah. Why are you irritated? I hear you ask. Why are you irritated? It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested. <laughs> yeah. Dying his smokes. I don't know what you mean. It's all right. We've got loads, ain't we? Loads, <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah? Coward, demon. I'm a powerful wizard. Oh, really? Really. Good for you. Excuse me. Yeah? I thought demons were huge red monsters that breathe fire and fly. That's down to good publicity. We are the genuine article, aren't we? Genuine? <laughs> yeah. Sordid keeps us here as slaves. What's with this sordid guy anyway? He wants to, you know, rule the universe, doesn't he? <laughs> rule, yeah. I blame the parents. Parents, yeah. And just where do you fit into these plans? We are Sordid's personal bodyguards, jailers, gardeners, cleaners, chefs, you name it, like, we do it. We do, yeah. It's a living hell. Why don't you have a wild... G demon strike? We're already having one. It doesn't, like, keep us here to play dice, you know? To be honest, I'm not really, like, sure why he keeps us here at all. Ever since he got hold of that wand, our tasks have been rather limited. Limited, <laughs> yeah. He read about it in a children's book. It turns people to, like, stone. Stone, yeah. Which accounts for those very lifelike statues of the people that, like, tried to stop him. Those statues were once... people? They still are, technically. They've just been retrained as, you know, paperweights. Paperweights? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not to worry. You're safe while he's, like, in the bath. Can't say for how long, though. Okay, I'm scared. Show me the door. Sorry, but... Like, the only way out is through the teleporter in this room. Personally, I'm blowed if I'm going to tell you how to use it. Oh, please. No. Why won't you tell me? We're demons. 
We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People? Yeah. What do you want? All we want, like, is a return to the pit whence we cameth, you know. Pit? Yeah. All you have to do, like, is find the wizard powerful enough. Look no further. I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, O oh mighty one, but, like, you're hardly a wizard at all. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 I've killed for less than that. Oh, dear. I'd better get my, like, headstone done. Headstone? Yeah. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical-stained, befuddled old fools. Fools. Yeah. I'll be 15 in two months and three days. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit, and in return, we'll tell you how to use a teleport. Teleport? Yeah. Right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, pack my bags then. Bags? Yeah. That doesn't work. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Back in a bit, just gotta sort a few details. Oh good, we can hardly, like, wait. Wait, yeah. I'm saving it for sordid. That doesn't work. It's sordid spellbook. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons' true names. Hello again. Got it sorted then. There isn't any mouse blood lying about, is there? Sorry. Used it all up in the, you know, sorest stew. Just grab a live mouse. That usually does a trick. Trick. Yeah. Back in a bit. Oh, good. We can hardly, like, wait. Wait. Yeah. That doesn't work.
It's a standard teleporter. I'm not going in there until I know how to work it. Hello again. Got it sorted then. I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work? Yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate a light teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without the password. Password? Yeah. And we don't, like, know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag. Zinza Zenog. Yarmak. Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. <laughs> Do you do special rates for Mighty Wizards? Mighty Wizards go free. Why do you ask anyway? Because I am a Mighty Wizard. And I'm the Tooth Fairy. Why do I get the impression he doesn't believe me? I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the Fiery Pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. And the only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. And one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fella. Now, are you going to pay up or not? You have to let me in. The fate of the world depends on it. No, I don't. The fate of my job depends on it. It looks absolutely awful to me anyway. Oh, look. There's an elastic band around them. What do you want me to use it on?
Fire! I'm out of here. When I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Hey, slime bucket. Pasta la pizza, baby. No! That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working. And you expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? A pool of bubbling lava. Here goes. Now all the statues should return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of Sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. I've just had a thought. You've made me really angry now. I'm really sorry. Can we call it quits? I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. Hello? Sordid speaking. Who? Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the one. We've all turned back to normal. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit, okay? Uh, okay. See you in a bit. Bye! What did they want? Just to tell me my life policy is cancelled. Okay, then. Get ready for pain such as you've never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Can I have a last request? Uh...
Let me think about it for a moment. Uh, no! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! It's time for you to die! That'll teach that little squirt to mess with me! Well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor-sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die. What's happening? Who turned out the lights? Congratulations! Well done! You finished Simon the Sorcerer! Well, Simon, what does it feel like to be a hero? What's this guy on? Would you like to say something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel! Don't hold your breath. I'm not going through all that again. Phew, what an awful dream. I guess I must have dropped off. <laughs> Looks like I've no say about the sequel.